Davis with four of the seven for South Carolina. And Kayla Davis already showing her versatility at 6-2. She is a handful in the backcourt. But Florida State is not tall, so it's very hard to defend a player that can do what Kayla Davis can do. Here's Romero, and one of the reasons for their turnaround in the regional semi. So far, it has not been good. Romero and Brown have combined two of 11 from the floor. Those are two seniors. The other senior, Sla uh, Slaughter, has done her part. And here is a foul called on the jumper by Romero. She'll shoot two. That's the first on South Carolina tonight. Shooting right around 50% from three-point range. And here she is on the drive. Lost it. Two on one, Brown and Romero. And Brown makes the right play. Romero with a layup. I like it. Davis, able to see over the top, finds the open player with the missed shot. Can Shaquayla Thomas get going in this game? Number 20 in black, the ACC player of the year, has yet to make an appearance in this game. Have a chance here to get it to 10, maybe single figures if Romero can knock it down. She can't, but she got her own miss and a free two points. Here's Wilson up top, and the double team comes, and a turnover. Brown forces it. Here's Romero ahead of the pack, gets the layup. It's a nine point game. Been a long time. Six foot. But she has an arsenal on the offensive end. She can whip out a variety of shots from the floater. She's got a three. She can post up now. And they thought they lost her in the second round. She had to be helped off the floor as Romero gets it to drop offensive end. You hope she can pick up another one if you're Staley. Well, she doesn't need to dip the shoulder and drive either. Just got called for an offensive foul to pick up her fourth. Here's Romero. They need it, and they get it. It's a five-point game.